Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. And some serious flooding concerns in western New York as well as all of that snow begins to melt on top of it. Rain becomes likely plus we're tracking showers for the New Year's weekend. We'll start here with future casts to break this down sort of hour by hour. By 7 o'clock Saturday morning, the warm front to our west allowing for showers in the Great Lakes region. And we track this area of low pressure as it moves closer and closer to Connecticut. We wake up to mostly cloudy and overcast skies on Saturday morning. By 5 p.m. we are expecting rain showers to develop and begin to move in. Rain becomes a bit steadier and heavier as the night goes on. Just after midnight, flipping over from 2022 to 2023, we will likely see some steadier and heavier rain move through. As the storm starts to depart, rain continues across uh, portions of northern New England, but we actually begin to dry out. And this last push of wind, it becomes a bit breezy Sunday, will actually help to mix out the atmosphere a little bit, allowing temperatures to climb and will stay mild even uh, behind this storm system. And we track a second area of low pressure that develops in the middle of the United States. Now, models have been very consistent here on the timing of this, so we are becoming uh, pretty confident that we will likely be dealing with steady rain during New Year's Eve and into New Year's Day. By the time all is said and done, we could pick up a half inch to an inch of rain. Low temperatures this morning, bit of a spread, 15 in Willimantic, 17 in Putnam, 31 in New Haven and Bridge, 428 in Groton. A lot of this was uh, based off of the clouds that we dealt with last night. We've had some clouds out there this afternoon. It allowed for a wonderful, wonderful sunset. Chris sent this in from Portland. Temperatures right now a bit of a spread too, down to 27 in Wellington, 38 in Meriden, 30 in Litchfield, 38 in uh, Berlin. Dew points back up too. Notice the dew point at Edison Middle School in Meriden up to 30 now. Even milder tomorrow than where we were today with a big time warm up to start off the new year. But again, that comes with that price of a bit of rain uh, to kick things off on Sunday. The past six hours, we've seen clouds streaming into Connecticut and that will be the case overnight tonight. Still expecting some cloud cover, uh, but not likely going to be worried about any showers or anything like this. With high pressure moving offshore, we're starting to see our wind direction shift to be out of the southwest. And it's these persistent winds that will help us to tap into this milder air building into the central part of the United States. Right now, our wind speed's not very high, but it's the wind direction here that really tells the story out of the south and southwest. Again, just pulling that milder air into the state, allowing temperatures to really climb to Tomorrow. Here's future cast showing you tomorrow's weather today, expecting uh, to see mostly sunny skies develop as we get later into the afternoon. Really a nice day across Connecticut. So not only are we going to see temperatures climb, but we can actually get out and enjoy those a little bit. A live look at our ICAM in Rocky Hill. Quiet conditions in Hartford right now. A live look in New London, 42 degrees with wind out of the southwest. So temperatures trend uh, downward over the next several hours. A little bit more pronounced inland than at the shoreline, likely bottoming out in the 20s inland in the 30s close to the shore. It's this wind direction here that is the big player in our forecast moving forward. Warm front lifts north of us tomorrow and into Friday. We see increasing clouds beginning late Friday night into Saturday morning ending the weekend with this about a half inch to an inch of rain total. Most of this falling New Year's Eve into New Year's Day. So unfortunately could have some impacts there on any New Year's New Year's plans you might have. Normally we're talking about high temperatures in the 30s, low temperatures in the 20s. Not going to be the case uh, this year for the end of 2022. Temperatures forecast to be back in the 50s both Saturday and Sunday. And even next week things are not going to uh, cool down much at all. Back into the mid 50s by Wednesday with a Another chance for rain. Well, sounds good to me.